may be seated, and I'd like to invite the children to come forward. Good morning, we have a baptism today and I want you all to get to meet this little young lady and want to ask you to help me welcome her as she comes up for her baptism as we lead the congregation in singing Jesus Loves Me, okay? are going to be really special to you, Lauren, because they're going to be a little bit older than you, and you're going to be looking up to them and learning all about what it means to go to Sunday school and church and learn all about Jesus. So you're going to be looking up and learning about what they do, and you all are going to be very important for her because you're going to be an example for her, okay, about what it means to be involved in the church and to be a Christian. I'll be back in a minute. Well, everybody, meet Lauren. Lauren is a special gift from God to the Anderson family, to all of her family. She's a special gift of God to this church and to the whole world. She is a child of God, a child of grace. And this morning we have the opportunity to give thanks for her, to cherish her, to get to know her by her face and by her name so that when we see her in Sunday school or in the hallway, you'll have the opportunity to say, hey, Lauren, how are you today? It's a special opportunity to renew our covenant with God today as well. And there is a covenant-making ceremony involved in baptism because we recognize that God has made a covenant with us, an eternal and unchanging covenant of love, of grace, and of mercy that God has promised to always love us no matter where we are, no matter how far we run, that the door will always be open for us to return. So we know that Lauren is a child of God who will be loved by God all of her life. We give thanks for that grace and that love through Jesus Christ today. And this morning, Lauren's parents are making some very, very important promises. They're promising to the God who loves her and who loves them that they're going to claim God's promises for her until she's old enough and has learned and experienced enough to claim God's promises for herself. They're also promising that they're going to model for her. What are we? Mm. They're going to model for her what it means to live as a Christian to have a Christian home and family. They're promising that they're going to pray with her and pray for her and try to do all that they can for her welfare and for her spiritual growth. And in a few minutes, everyone in the church will have an opportunity to make some promises to God too and to make some promises to Lauren and her family because we are asked to promise that we will help her family in teaching her about Jesus and about the love of God for her. We're promising that we'll be her family, her friends, her encourager when times are difficult in her life, 
that will share her joy in happy times, and share her sadness in sad times, that will be her family along with her natural family. And we're celebrating today that as Clark and Lisa are her earthly parents, she has a heavenly father who will care for all of her needs and provide for her spiritual growth. So today is a celebration of grace. Excuse me. Okay. Clark and Lisa, first of all, I would like to ask you to respond to these questions. Do you reaffirm your own faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Do you? Do you claim God's covenant promises on Lauren's behalf? And do you look in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ for her salvation as you do for your own? Do you? Do you now promise in humble reliance upon God's grace to set before Lauren an example of the new life in Christ? Do you? Do you promise to pray with and for Lauren and to bring her up in the knowledge and love of God? Do you? First, I'd like to welcome Lisa's family from Myrtle Beach. They came all the way up to God's country to <laughs> witness <laughs> to witness this baptism of, of little Lauren. And as a member of the session of Central Presbyterian Church and as Lauren's grandfather, I want to ask the congregation of this church the following questions. Do we, the members of this congregation, in the name of the whole Church of Christ, undertake with, the, with these parents the Christian nurture of this child? so that in due time she may confess faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Do we? We do. Will we endeavor by our, by our example and fellowship to strengthen Lauren's ties with the household of God? Will we? We will. And boys and girls, I told you how important you all are to Lauren. Will you promise today to do everything that you can to help Lauren feel like a part of our church family and to learn what it means to be involved in Sunday school and be a Christian? If you will, will you put your hand up? Wonderful. Thank you very much. Let's pray together. To God, we thank you for all of the promises that we have just made and for your promise to us, which forms the backbone of all those promises. Help us to be faithful to them every day. We thank you for Lauren and for her family. And we now ask that you'll set aside this common element of water for a very sacred purpose, that it will symbolize for us the cleansing love of Jesus Christ for Lauren and for each one of us, and that it will remind us of your cleansing love and salvation offered to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Stand up here. It's your child's full name. Lauren Elizabeth Anderson, child of the covenant, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for this child and for the gift of life. We ask your constant and abiding presence with her every day of her life, that she'll never know a day when she's not aware of your love and your presence for her. Be with Clark and Lisa as they serve as her parents here on earth and strengthen them and give them wisdom and patience for each day. And be with all of her extended family as well and for, thank you for their love and the support she'll know from them. Be with our church and help us all to love you, to serve you, and to love this little girl. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As the baptismal hymn is sung, I'll pass out the worship bulletins for you children. And thank you very much. Mm -hmm. 